Okay, so you have seen that I have been doing console log for a while, okay? And this, I think that you already already have a clue of what the fuck is going on. Let's try to find a similarity between console log and Nico info dot favorite food. If you cannot spot it, then we are doomed because it's very evident. Look at it, console dot log and then Nico dot favorite food. Console is an object, just like Nico info is an object. And that log is somewhere over here, okay? Inside of the JavaScript fucking software that this piece of computer has, there is a console object and there is a log key here, okay? In this case, this is a function, but it's an object. We can see that console is an object. So what happens if we console log the console object? Look at that. As you can see, I wasn't talking shit. Console is as much of an object like Nico Info is. Look at Nico Info name blah, blah, blah. look at console log log error info warn dear time time blah, 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 blah. isn't that something interesting already i think that this gives you a very good input different insight into how javascript is made as you can see even the javascript the javascript things that we have on our browser are put into objects and that is something wonderful now you will ask me, Nicholas, where did console log came from? Console log and alert and many of the other ones that we're going to see are built in functions. Okay. But wait for a second, because I am using the function word a lot and I haven't explained what that means. Okay. So function is, I cannot, I can't, how can I explain that? A function is a function. It functions for something It's functional. Okay, so imagine a function as a piece or instructions that you can use as many times as you want. That's it, that is a function, a piece of code that you can use as many times as you want. Okay, put this here, make a tattoo here. A piece of code that you can use as many times as you want. Okay, now how do we put that piece of code into here? For example, let's say I want to have a piece of code that calls console log and says hello. So for example, if I didn't have functions that I, my functions, I would use console log hello. And let's say I wanna do it four times. Okay, so I will do here. Hello, 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 hello. That's okay. Okay, now what happens if I wanna say, for example, hello, uh, Nicholas. And here I wanna say hello, uh, June. And here I wanna say hello, Lin. And here I wanna say hello, Dal. I will have to do it separately. Okay. Now what happens if I wanna, ins oh fuck, okay. Let's change hello to uh, greetings. Okay, so greetings. And then here I have to change it as well. And I have to change the four of them. That is not efficient at all. Remember this. Programmers, we are lazy people. We don't want to code if it's not necessary. Okay. So what we need to have here is a function that will take a name and will give me greetings, whatever name I give him. Okay. Okay. So how do we create a function in JavaScript? Careful here. This is very complicated process. You might get lost in the middle. Okay, so first what we do is we do function. Change color. And then we do the name of the function. So here is where I use my creative mind. And my creative mind tells me that this function name should be named say hello. Awesome. And now I do this. This, ladies and gentlemen, it's a rule of JavaScript when you want to declare a function. We will see why we use this on the next video. On this one, 
Just shut up. Don't ask questions. Okay. And now here, I'm gonna say function say hello. Okay, like I told you, a function is a piece of code that I can call many, many, many times. So I can, for example, here, put one instruction and then I can just call the function say hello and I can just use the same code again. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say console log hello. Okay, and now here, instead of using console log, I am going just to say say hello because I already know what cons what say hello does. So now I'm gonna save, I'm gonna run, and say hello should say hello. And that right there is your first function. Congratulations, very happy for you. This is your first function. Let me just see that you can see me well. Yes, hello, okay. That is your first function and everything is good. You are a good programmer now, you have your first function. Now, what we wanna do is not only say hello, we wanna say hello to our friends. We wanna say hello, hello Nicholas, hello Lynn, hello Jude, hello whatever. So we need to change say hello a little bit, okay? So here is where we go back to what we saw the first uh, couple of videos before this one. Look at this. Console log this, as you can see, they are the same. Okay, so this means that log, it's a function inside of a console object, okay? That's, that's what we know. But console log doesn't work without any message inside. So let's put a message here. Let's say console log, hi. Let's run this thing and let's see what's up. It says hello and it says hi. So this means that console log uses what I give him, okay? So if I delete this thing and I run it again, let's see what happens. I just get hello and I get a console log that is empty. So as you can see here, you can put whatever you want in between these two parentheses and that will mean that the function will use it. Cool, okay? So that means that I should be able to put here, say hello to Nicolas, for example, Fuck me to Nicholas, and when I come and I run here, it should say hello Nicholas because whatever I put here will be used by the function, right? No, it doesn't work. Why is programming so hard? Okay, so this does not work. Why do you think it doesn't work? If you think about it for a second, you will think, okay. So let's think logically. I am getting here, this is called an argument. So first fancy word of the day, argument. One second. So this is called an argument. That is the first fancy word of the day, argument. Now, that doesn't tell me anything because what we want to do is use it and we wanna actually put it here into hello, correct? Okay, so how do we customize our function Sorry. So our function takes arguments. Now you need to remember that an argument, no, you need to remember now because it's the first time I told you, you need to know that an argument is just like a variable. It will take the value that we give them. So in this case, we're going to prepare our function say hello to take arguments from us. The way that we prepare our function is we put something here when we are creating that function. So when we are creating this function, we are going to put an argument that we are gonna name however we want. It could be potato. So let's say potato. Potato, okay? This is a name that is like a variable for us, okay? Parameter or argument, parameter. That is gonna be a name that we are going to use inside of our function, okay? We only, uh, we as programmers know it. The user doesn't need to know it. JavaScript is gonna use it when he finds something in here, okay? So for example, instead of doing hello, I am gonna do hello, comma, potato. And as you can see, it's working. It's saying hello, Nicholas. So what JavaScript is doing is that it's putting this value, Nicholas, 
inside of potato and potato is being put here. So this is the equivalent as doing just hello Nicholas, okay? So this is how you make your functions understand data from the outside. This is how you give your functions data from outside, okay? From the actual program. So for example, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, but I'm, I'm, call, I'm calling this function with two arguments. Console log, I am calling it with two arguments, okay? In my case of say hello, I am gonna say Nicolas, and then here I'm gonna say 15. Now, if I run this thing, it should only just say, hello, Nicolas. The 15 is not being used because my function say hello is not prepared to get this um, number here. So this number could be chicken, could be named chicken, it doesn't matter. And here I do comma and I say, you have comma chicken. Okay, now I'm using potato and chicken here because I don't want you to think that the names have to do with the data, okay? You can use whatever name you like, okay? Let's change potato, let's put it name, for example, and let's change chicken for age. But again, it's not mandatory that the name of the variable is the same thing that makes sense. It could be potato, chicken, whatever it is, okay? All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm saying, hello, name, you have age. Mm, comma years of age all right running and hello nicolas you have 15 years of age there you go with two variables that we have here and our function will understand it perfectly okay this is how it should look in just one line as you can see the console log function takes infinite arguments all right and it will take all of them whatever arguments he has she has is going to console log all of them in our case we're only preparing our function say hello to only work with two arguments okay this i think it's enough for the first part of uh functions on the next video we are going to see how we can improve our console log uh like this because this is very ugly comma name comma and don't forget about the space and don't forget about the space here because if you forget this is what will happen and that is very ugly so what i'm going to do is fix it on the next one and we're going to make a couple of um adjustments and a couple of other functions and other stuff okay so congratulations you have built your first function say hello and how old you are that's amazing see you on the next video. Bye-bye.